What's up everybody? Um, doing a quick opinion video today. As you can see, I got some case knives sitting out here. So, yep, that's what we're going to be talking about. Um, we're just going to be kind of discussing my opinion of it and my very so-so relationship with case. So, start with probably the best example here. This is the uh, copper lock. This is the mini copper lock and this is a stag handle. And the fit and finish on this one is actually fairly nice compared to other cases. I mean, there's gaps. Um, it seems to be finished pretty even. Like, you can feel a gap right there. That's not the world's best. Let's see if you can. Anyways, the whole point of this video is that people for years have talked about how case quality control has gone downhill and I would tend to agree um for example this sod buster when I bought this this is like a 25 30 dollar knife and I still don't think it's much more than that but see the shaping on that I mean let's see there you go that's just awful execution I've tried the recenter blade you can hear it scrape this isn't meant to be a pretty knife, it's meant to be a working knife, but at the same time, for example, you have this Chinese Imperial. If you look, it's shaped evenly. A lot grittier action. I've used this knife a lot, by the way. After years of abuse, it's centered way better now this knife came dull as a butter knife and i had to add an edge to it but i think i paid six bucks for this on amazon prime so i mean this knife wasn't much better it's smoother if anything the spring felt like it was weaker it's still a classic knife i'm sure they still make good ones. I just don't think I got a good example of it. I got this seven years ago, so it's not that old of a knife. Yeah, anybody that's in the case knives, they could date that just by that tang stamp. But, I mean, I, I, I paid 25 bucks for it, but when you got an $8 knife, that's way better at least with the uh, fit and finish and whatnot. I mean, come on. Case is supposed to be the brand for traditional American knives. They just couldn't grind that right. I know it's nitpicking because of the price of the knife, but still. I did, however, think that Case was taking a step in the right direction with these modern folders, and I still think this is a great knife. Um, However, I've seen lots and lots of problems on YouTube and Facebook groups talking about inconsistent quality control, and it appears I'm in the minority of the few that have actually got a good example of this knife. As mine drops smooth, flips, smooth, pretty well centered, no side to side or up and down play. The only thing I can knock this knife is for some reason, the S35VN on this knife is rusted way easier than any of the S35VN knives I have. Um, maybe right, it's polished, but you can see machine lines through here. So I'm guessing maybe that has something to do with it. Um, I mean, it's a great knife, and it's a step in the right direction for Case. They've had several other designs. I got one that's... A, solid carbon fiber scale you can get this knife in it's a great knife um i like the direction they're going in with moderns especially with the carbon fiber ones but they need to work on the fit and finish another detail i, I don't like about this knife the proud uh clip screws and this knife does have a good bit of carry on it right the anodization feels pretty high quality Hide snail trails, I guess maybe from the color. But, I mean, it's a great knife. 
but again, I appear to be in the minority that have actually gotten a good example of this. Um, I hate that too because I've recommended this knife and I got, I believe I got several videos from last year recommending this knife. Um, it's just a shame that nobody's had good experience with it. Um, if you want a video detailing the warranty process with case, Cutlery Lover has a good one on one of these series knives. And another weird thing, hold on a second. Let me get a nail here. The pocket, not the pocket clip, the, it, mm, that was rusty. The flipper tab is magnetic on mine. Ain't that something. Let's see. And then, here is my example of cases quality slipping. Um, everybody knows Case has a reputation for coming razor sharp growing up. Hearing from my daddy, my granddaddy, my uncles. Case was the best knife. You couldn't get any better than Case, yada, yada, yada. Now this thing came to me and you could just saw it across your fingers. It wasn't, it would never cut it. Both blades. This is the peanut. This was the dullest knife I've ever received. And that's saying something because I've gotten some really dull knives. So yeah, I mean, and it's not like this is an odd example. Um, I've been into several case dealers near me. And they're all about 50-50 quality wise. Tractor supply, local hardware stores. You get a good example like this. I mean, yeah, the bone's a different color, but who cares? The knife looks great, feels great. The only, well, there's that too. But it's secure. I mean, you're not, this little knife, you're not really gonna be beating. It's a great knife. Then you got what's supposed to be the working man's knife. It's almost insulting though, that they'd send you something that bad out of shape, that off to the side. I mean, it's super rough finish. Even Buck, for the same money, for about the same money that these cost, you're getting this. They're both plastic. At least with this, no up and down play, no side to side play. Got a pocket clip, at least I got a lock. So, you know, it is possible to get make a cheap American knife while just still building quality. Hell, even the Phantom. They're cheaper than a lot of the uh, Sodbuster knives. And they're far and away a way better knife. Um, just held up to all kinds of abuse better. Case is a brand I really wish would step it up. Um, I want to see them do good. They're, they're the heritage brand. It's like Red Wing Boots or Levi Pants or just Wrangler. Case is one of those brands. Zippo, for God's sakes, owns them. Man, it's just it's a heritage brand. And I wish they would stop riding on that name and step up the quality. Because I, I don't hate the brand. I love the brand. Um, but they just need some work. Thanks.